All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have an NBA recap video. I've been trying to get back on these videos. Now, if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, hit that sub button, do this every single day. I know you guys would appreciate this content, but I've got all the goodies down below. I'm about to hop on Twitch right after this. Been streaming on Twitch every night. I've got a Rockets Daily channel. We got a Discord. Got my socials. Got all that good stuff. But let's let's get right into this video. The first game I watched, so I live stream tonight. First off, if you tune into my live stream, I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning into it. I streamed for four hours. And I think the max amount of people we had was like 15, and it was probably one of the best times. I live stream these games just about every day. So if you guys want to just come in, enjoy a watch party, just come on in and say what's up. But the first game I started with was the Bucks Heat and I was excited about this game and I'm looking at myself and I'm thinking, why were you excited about this game? The Miami Heat, not only are they clueless about how to run an organization, I'm not taking a shot at the Miami Heat, I'm just saying, well, actually it kind of is, I'm just saying, I'm just basically as a Rockets guy making fun of them for not trading for James Harden and wanting to keep Tyler Hero who has pretty much offered them nothing. Victor Oladipo, that injury sucks, though, man. I don't want to get at the Miami Heat because I like the Miami Heat. I'm not rooting against them. I will say this. The Milwaukee Bucks, first off, get the broom. If I had a broom, if I owned a broom, I would go get it. I wish I owned a broom. <laughs> but the Bucks controlled every aspect of every game they've played it's just about every second. Maybe not game one, like at the very two minute, last two minutes where the Heat came back. But for the most part, Jimmy Buckets has been locked up. Yeah, he had a much better game tonight. But for the most part, the Milwaukee Bucks are literally just coasting. And they're playing some of the best defense I have seen in recent time. I mean, they are locking up every player on the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat are not getting very many open looks. And when they do get open looks... They're not making it. You can tell the confidence of the Miami Heat is just absolutely decimated and they're just suffering. They seem like they're suffering and the Bucks should put them out of their misery in the next game. It should be a clean sweep. However, I said this in stream. If anybody's going to come back 3-0, I expect two people. Two people come to my mind when I think of players who can come back 3-0. First off, obviously, LeBron James, whether you love him or you hate him, I mean, he's probably capable of doing that. Number two, and there's no statistical proof, there's no evidence, there's nothing like that to make this sound any less crazy than it is, but number two for me is Jimmy Butler. He's just that motivator, that leader that I would want on my team where it's like, if you win one, you win two, it's like, oh, shoot, I don't really want to be playing this red hot, you know, red hot Milwaukee or uh, not Milwaukee, Miami Heat team. And I I don't mean full sarcasm there. I'm just saying like, you know, two games isn't necessarily red hot, but two good wins against a red hot Milwaukee Bucks team definitely neutralizes the momentum and it totally shifts it over to Miami's side. We'll leave it at that. We'll see here in a couple days what happens, but I, I do expect this to be a sweep. I take a look at my predictions and I, I see the Bucks in seven and I'm like, well, you know, Depot's out, Hero's been struggling. I mean, w w the Bucks are just, they figured it out. And I cannot wait for the Nets Bucks. If the Nets Bucks is the next round, which it's really looking like, I cannot wait. Let's get into game number two. This was Lakers Suns. And you guys know my opinion on this. And I hate talking Lakers Suns because the bottom line is this. One team has Anthony Davis and LeBron James. The other team doesn't. And it's just... It's literally that simple when you ask me. I mean, I've lived, I've grown up with LeBron James. I am that. I'm 21 years old. LeBron James is my generational talent. And the last 15 years of my life, I have had to deal with this guy. The last 10 years have been a little bit more memorable. 10 years of just, and you guys know I live here in Chicago and we got Deep Rose, we got Butler, like, We've had solid teams just get crushed by whatever team LeBron James is on. And I've been through this too many times to count. Anytime LeBron James is favored to win something, you are smart to pick him. That's it. And 
with Chris Paul's injury, it adds insult to injury. It really just does. Or in this case, it adds injury to insult. It's like the worst combination is the Lakers coming into this series being favored to win as the seventh seed playing the second best record in the West being favored. It's disrespectful. And the Suns get a first, they, they get a game one win and everyone's like, hold up, was Vegas wrong? And then Chris Paul, man, Chris Paul gets injured. And the bottom line is this. LeBron James picks and chooses when he has to play, when he has to go hard. And right now, they're just the one thing the Lakers are focused on is getting Anthony Davis to Anthony Davis level. And if Anthony Davis gets to Anthony Davis level, that is a automatic force and with the decimated Phoenix Suns with an injured Chris Paul, and you have a game where Devin Booker just doesn't shoot the ball particularly well. I mean, it's like Anthony Davis is out playing DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul combined. Like as crazy as that sounds, Chris Paul's hurt, Devin Booker shot the ball poorly, and DeAndre Ayton, you know, he went 20 something and 10 something. It's just not compared to Anthony Davis's 30 something and 10 something. It's just Anthony Davis is the best player on the court right now. LeBron James just, I mean, I thought LeBron was going to be way more aggressive this game and he, he really wasn't. So I am a little concerned about the Lakers moving forward, but with an injured Chris Paul, it, it just makes this series way more difficult for them. They're already young and un inexperienced as it is. Chris Paul is kind of that block, that cement block that keeps everything together. And it's, it's tough, man. It, it really is. It, it's just tough. I'm rooting for the Suns. I really am. I want them to beat the Lakers. I don't want LeBron to win another ring, but we'll see what happens in game four. This was a very pivotal game for both teams, and it just unfortunately was, yeah, the box score might have shown a little bit differently, but the Lakers controlled this entire game, and that's just the bottom line. The last game we'll talk about here is the Portland Trail Blazers, Denver Nuggets. If I'm Portland, I'm freaking out. And other people may feel a little bit differently, but I mean, this team cannot play defense. They just can't play defense. It's unbelievable. And you have some nights where if your offense isn't making everything, if you're not shooting like 40% from three, or you're sloppy, or you're blank, you're blank, you're blank, it's you're screwed. This Denver Nuggets team was crafted so strategically and so smart that it's like, yeah, they traded for Eric Gor Aaron Gordon, but it's not like it's Aaron Gordon championship or bust. They're still set for several years to come and they still have great talent. Like tonight, it was Austin Rivers. Austin Rivers a couple months ago wasn't in the NBA. Us Rocket fans, we know the value Austin Rivers has still at this point in his career. It's not like he's 38 years old. Austin Rivers can come in, compete. He can start in playoff games. He's played in moments like this. It shouldn't be a surprise that he shoots 50% from three and goes off for 20 points in an important playoff game against a bad defensive team. If you're going to leave him open because you have to double team Nikola Jokic, it makes Austin Rivers, it makes all the other role players on the Denver Nuggets job just so much easier. And if Damian Lillard isn't going for 30 and 10 every single night, I don't see the Portland Trailblazers winning this series. And it's a crazy thought because I have Blazers in six. I have Blazers in six, man. I don't really want the Blazers to lose this series. I want Dame, I want CJ, I want Melo. I want all these cats to advance because... Personally, I think the Trailblazers have the best team they've had in years. Nurkic went out. He got foul trouble. Basically, here's what I'm saying, man. If they don't win this next game, they're screwed. Because this defense is not good enough to hold true for three, four games. Basically, just basing that off, that means the offense in the next three, four games has to completely go off. If the defense isn't going to hold, if they're not going to make the proper stops and you're giving up 110 to 120 points a game, the offense needs to keep up with it. And last two games have been worrisome because it really is just kind of Dame Dollar going off. Dame Dollar wasn't really going off tonight. Everybody, Dame, CJ, they were struggling from field. Norman Powell had probably the best game for the Blazers tonight. It's just, 
They got to figure something out and they need to figure it out in the next game. But it, it's not panic time. But I would be definitely nervous if I'm a Trailblazer fan just because, I mean, Terry Stotts, does, he doesn't make the proper adjustments. Players aren't performing to their capability. It's just they need to figure it out. It's only two losses. I don't expect the Blazers to lose three straight, especially to a banged up Nuggets team. I know they're they're still an incredible team, though. This Nuggets team is very good, and I would not sell them short because they could definitely pull off this upset even though they're the third seed and they've been playing just fine without jamal murray as crazy as it sounds but anyways guys that's gonna be it for today if you enjoyed it hit that like button it helps the algorithm out so much i'll see you guys tomorrow